Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to General Hospital teasers, Spencer Cassidine's disappearance mystery will be solved. It is thought that drugged Spencer and Esme Prince swept into the English Channel when they fell into the Seine and were never discovered. Spencer survived, of course, because Chavez will take over the post a few months later. When Spencer's turtle dove washed up on the beach, fans already had a small hint that Spencer had to have made it as well. Let's examine the available information as viewers may still be curious about Spencer's destiny. Spencer is struggling with uncontrollable circumstances, since he would undoubtedly reconcile with Trina Robinson if he could. Although Aisman was also thought to be dead, it's possible that she's still alive and hiding somewhere. But if Esme were holding Spencer captive, she would be getting in touch with Laura Collins so she could use him as leverage. It's important to remember that Esme intended to use Ace Cassidine again, so if she got Spencer, there's no reason to believe she wouldn't make the most of him. Of course, it's not impossible that Spencer is experiencing amnesia and is lost for directions. Spencer might encounter his own Mike in the Nixon Falls narrative, but the amnesia theme has been overdone on GH in recent years. In light of that, perhaps we ought to think about our alternatives for Spencer's time off the canvas. Where is Spencer now and why isn't he returning home to Trina if, at the time of his rescue, his memories were still intact? Maybe it's because there is an obstruction in his path. We're not sure we believe Victor Cassidine died in Greenland, despite the fact that it appears he did. Since Victor was an expert at tricking people with lifelike masks, it is possible that he put a Victor mask on a different person. As part of his scheme to pretend to be doomed, Victor might have also bought off a few devoted WSB employees. If so, Victor may have been monitoring Spencer and gave the order for his group to accompany him to Paris. What would happen if Victor saved Spencer, provided him with a place to heal, and is now holding him captive? Victor may believe that Spencer is still deserving of continuing the dark tradition of the Cassidine family, but only once Trina has been eliminated from his life. Spencer's heart was positively affected by Trina, but Victor might wish to reverse that and lead him in a much worse direction. Victor might employ an anti-love potion or hypnotize or brainwash Spencer to get rid of his feelings for Trina, and we wouldn't rule that out either. Anything is possible with Victor because this is the same guy who sought to eradicate the majority of the population with a deadly virus. Whatever the case, Victor might be Spencer's abductor since he would both want to save Spencer and keep it a secret from the rest of his family until his entire scheme is executed. Stay in for updates on all the exciting news that lies ahead as general hospital spoilers indicate that the truth about Spencer will eventually out. Make CDL your go to GH destination for fantastic spoilers, news, and updates on your favorite show. We now have Wednesday, February 7, 2024, General Hospital Spoilers. The memorial service for Spencer Cassidine will air. Fans can anticipate. Avery Kristen Pohl's character Esme Prince had an unexpected mourner show up. Michael Easton's character Hamilton Finn learns something about Gregory Chase, Gregory Harrison. Michael Corinthos and Willow Tate Corinthos are getting closer to making up. Danny Falconeri will also experience strife. According to GA spoilers on Wednesday, February 7, family members will assemble to bid Spencer farewell. Regarding Spencer and Aisne's purported deaths, everyone in Port Charles is in shock. The fact that Laura Collins was able to persuade Nicholas Cassidine to surrender to the authorities is even more astonishing. Spencer will hear a heartbreaking farewell from Alexis Davis as everyone comes to say goodbye. A surprise mourner for Esme shows up in the interim. Could Heather Weber wind up being this? In an interview, the actress made a suggestion that Heather might be released from prison. Maybe Esme's purported death gives the bad guy a chance. Another option is that Kevin Collins is Esme's unexpected mourner. Despite Esme's attacks, Kevin appeared to be deeply saddened by her passing. 
so maybe Kevin will be the one to represent Esma. Fans can anticipate Michael making progress with his broken marriage on Wednesday, February 7. Though they haven't gotten back together yet, Michael and Willow are moving toward reconciliation. Wednesday, February 7 General Hospital teasers indicate that Finn will come to a conclusion regarding Gregory. In the teaser, Gregory is shown having trouble breathing. Finn, who is seated on a park bench, leaps to carry Gregory to the hospital. Additionally, fans might anticipate conflicted Dunt on Wednesday, February 7. An unexpected guest pays Ava Jerome a visit. Curtis Ashford and Portia Robinson are informed strongly by Trina Robinson that she will not be attending Port Charles University or any other university. Laura is told by Cyrus Renault that he hadn't anticipated that level of hostility. Sunny Corinthos also seeks explanations. What storyline on Wednesday, February 7th, are you most excited to see? Regarding Trina, Curtis, Portia, Sunny, Dante, and Ava, what predictions do you have? For Nicholas, Laura, Finn, Gregory, and the other Port Charles residents, what lies ahead? Post your ideas in the space provided for comments below. Recall to watch the ABC soap opera to see what happens next. Teases about general hospital updates and teasers at Spencer Cassidine's burial service. Esm Prince is expecting an unexpected mourner to show up. The service is for Spencer. But because Esm is also said to be dead, it doesn't seem like anyone has offered a funeral for her yet. Heather Weber, Esm's biological mother, may be visiting Pentonville Prison on a bereavement leave. However, she would likely be accompanied by armed guards. Since Ryan Chamberlain, Esm's birth father, was Kevin Collins' twin, Kevin is technically also a close relative of Esma, making him her uncle. Maybe a little service is being planned. He just wouldn't believe it right to honor Esma at Spencer's funeral. Heather did, however, give Laura Collins advance notice, so it's possible that she may arrange for herself to take a bereavement leave from Pentonville and make an appearance. Although she told Esma not to search for Ace Prince Cassidy, she was aware that Esma was fugitive and was searching for Spencer and Trina Robinson. After he and Harrison Chase visited Maggie, it would make sense for Dante Falconeri to give her an update on Esma's whereabouts. Given that they went beyond together, it's plausible that Maggie would attend Spencer's funeral ceremony, thinking perhaps it was also for Esma. However, why would Don tell her about Spencer's service? It would be shocking if she did, though, not because she didn't love her former charge or lament her alleged passing. She didn't want the police to question her because she didn't want to be affiliated with her new job and was afraid of losing it. However, since she didn't even know Spencer, she could still show there and support Esma. Nonetheless, one individual paradoxically expressed pity for Esme after learning that she was Franco Baldwin's half-sister. Cameron Weber, her previous victim, will undoubtedly be present. Jocelyn Jacks called him to inform him of Spencer's whereabouts. He'll be there for Spencer, no doubt about it, but he might bring up Esme in grief for her too. He was still grieving for Franco when he started to feel something for Esme. When Cameron left for college, Things between him and Spencer weren't going so well. They had a few fist fights at Kelly's and then Bobby's. Cameron, Jocelyn, Emma Scorpio Drake, and Spencer all grew up together. Therefore, he will still respect Spencer and stand behind Joss and Trina Robinson. Thanks for watching if you liked this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.